Hi guys, welcome back to Sadler Up Nails. Today I have this really cool 3D snow globe that I'm gonna show you how I did. And it is not an aquarium nail, so you don't need any oil or a e-file or anything like that. First, we are coming in with Bio Seaweed Gels Prize Every Time. This is a beautiful bluish, uh, I guess it's like a, like a lavender color. It's a really nice, it's a very nice color and it goes on very smooth and opaque. It does take one minute to cure in an LED light and I'm not sure how much in a UV, probably two to three minutes in a UV light. And they do say that they cure in pure sunlight. So once um, the sun comes back in the summertime, I want to uh, test how well they'll, they cure um, in direct sunlight. Now I'm coming in with Candyland to paint the background of the snow globe just to give some more contrast to the design. Bio Seaweed Gel has two types of their gel polish. They have their three-step gel and then they have their Unity Gel. And the difference is that their three-step gel requires a base coat and a top coat as it does have a dispersion layer. And their Unity Gels do not require a base or a top coat. They are one-step gels and they do not have a dispersion layer. However, Bio Seaweed does still advise that for longer wear, um, that you do still use the base and the top coat. They're just great for nail art, really. Before I cured Candyland, I came back in with Prize Every Time, and I just tried to blend it out a bit to kind of look like, to kind of give it like a faded look. However, I ended up just covering all that up, and this step was actually a waste of time. But uh, here you go. Watch me waste my time. The company Apre has this new airbrush machine that uses gel polish and I really, really, really badly want to get that and try it out because honestly trying to ombre and do a gradient with gel, it's just, it's so tedious and annoying. It really is. So now I'm coming in with this finger paints. It's also a one-step polish and we're just going to paint a little snowman feller. This finger paint uh, gel polish line is not that bad. I picked it up at a Sally's Beauty Supply and I do have a few other colors in their gel polishes that I'm pretty pleased with. However, I did get them um, a few years ago. I'm not sure if they do still sell them as I also have not been into a Sally's in quite a while. Um, but if they are still there, check them out. Um, they're not bad. Now we're using Accents Gel Play Line It Black. And we're just going to do some little detail work on our snowman. We're putting on a cute little top hat. Doing some eyes. I did a little cute little mouth. I just did a little side smirk. And then some buttons. I did not add a nose because I just, I did not think there was enough room to put one and I did not want to make a mess of the face. So yeah, now we're coming in with Valentine and we're just going to do a little scarf, which I felt added just so much life to this little guy, just a tiny little scarf. And uh, now we're going to give him some little stick arms. I'm not even sure if these arms were uh, necessary, to be honest, with what we're going to be doing next. I'm going to have to look at the nail again if you can even see the arms at the end. Um, so now I added a little bit of glitter, um, another waste of time, because you didn't even see the glitter at the end. But, oh well, sometimes that happens. And now we're going to just dot in some white. I did use the finger paints at first. Um, and then we're going to put in, I guess, a little, some little snow he's standing on. And the next step is to make the snow globe. We are going to use Builder Gel. The Builder Gel that I have is Bio Seaweeds Builder X. And then what we're going to do is put this on in layers. Um, 
to give the depth to the snow in the snow globe. Work in circles and don't worry too much about little bubbles getting in it because it actually adds a little bit more effect because this is a snow globe and snow globes are filled with water and when you shake them they get bubbles so don't worry about little bubbles it kind of makes it look a little more realistic just make sure you do get around to right to the edge of uh, that little base circle that you drew before this Builder X is a great builder gel to work for this because of its viscosity. It self levels, but it doesn't run on you. It stays put. Um, so now we're coming in again with the white and we're dotting that in to add some more snow. And then we're going to layer in the builder gel once more. I've said previously, nail art is a lot of repeat steps. So we're just going to keep repeating these two steps until we are satisfied with the look. Now I did end up switching to my accents gel play line it white because it is a thicker gel and uh, I found the other one was bleeding on me and then I also decided to wipe the dispersion layer of the builder jet uh, builder X in between um, because that also stops the gel from bleeding on you when you're doing fine detail if you wipe off the dispersion layer. So I wish I had done that right from the beginning, but I mean, we're okay. I'm not mad at it. We just, whatever, it is what it is. And now we're layering back in the gel. This was our final layer of gel, which is why I'm flipping the nail upside down so that the gel pulls towards the center. And then I'm, I flip it over quickly and cure it. And then now we are coming in with our accents shine on. And then I had two little, two, I had a container of um, chrome micro beads that I'll be adding on top of the ball just to add a little detail to the top of it. And I, uh, I do that before I cure the top coat here. I really love these chrome micro beads. I wish I had gold ones. I think if I had gold, I would have used those instead. But either way, I like them. I like them a lot. Then I remembered that I had this black 3D gel by a company called NOQ. And, um,. I don't know, what's the difference between a 3D gel and a 4D gel? It looks like it works the same to me. It's 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 very moldable, kind of like, it reminds me of a uh, plasticine, kind of. And um, you just work it like acrylic, I guess. I don't know, I don't use acrylic, but um, I just use isopropyl alcohol to um, make the product a little bit more workable. And then I just mold it into position before I cure it and then after it cures it does come out to a matte finish and I wanted it to look um I don't know like a molding kind of so that's why I did uh I did uh, some layers here so this is the second one I put this one on a little bit thicker it was a little bit harder to work um, but we got her moving with a little bit more alcohol and then any of the black that ends up on the nail, you can just wipe that right off. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel, guys. We still got like, oh my God, what, four more days, five more days. I don't even know. Is this six or seven? I, I don't even know. I... <clears throat> I think I bit off a little bit more than I could chew here with this 12 days of Christmas nails. I'm pretty sick of Christmas nails, but oh well, I committed, so we're going to do it. And like I said, that black cures to a matte, and I totally forgot it did that. So that's why I'm coming back in with my top coat 
And you know what? It kind of seals in those balls a little bit better anyways. So um, I'm not mad at it. And there you go. There's the nail. And look at how much the uh, the gel really magnified that snowman. I'm wishing I made him a little bit smaller and maybe even added a tree. Oh, well. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe. Bye.